Hi, I'm Chris Yu from Policy Exchange here to talk about our new report, Financing Innovation. This report is about using public policy to support early stage, aspirational and growing businesses. In the report, we argue that policymakers need to move on from a debate which is too skewed around bank lending. Public policy needs to recognise a wide diversity of funding sources for small and medium sized businesses, do more to remove barriers and focus support on businesses which will really go for economic growth. Our report contains three key recommendations to support business owners and entrepreneurs. The first is tax simplification. We would like to see the government introduce a radical new simple tax regime for startup businesses. We would have this run for the first three years of operation and what this would do is remove a distraction from business owners, allowing them more time to focus on day-to-day -day business activities and planning for growth. We recognise that there are challenges in the public finances and would like to see this implemented on a revenue neutral basis. Our second recommendation is around modernisation of the individual savings account regime. We repeat our proposal for a new tranche of tax relief for investments in retail bonds. This would give small and medium sized companies seeking growth capital an alternative to bank lending channels. It would also provide a new reward for savers who have suffered at the hands of low interest rates. Our third recommendation is for a new enterprise kickoff fund for young people. This would be run by the private sector and provide small start-up loans to young entrepreneurs. To make the fund economically viable, the government would commit to last resort recovery of bad loans through the income tax system. There is enthusiasm among young people for starting a business, and in many cases the amount of support required need not be that large. Often a few thousand pounds is enough to get an idea off the drawing board. Our proposal will help get this market going. We don't suggest that our proposals are a silver bullet for instantly restoring economic growth. We do believe, however, that in the current economic climate it's more important than ever to protect investments in enterprise and innovation that will pay off over the longer term. The government can and should do more to support aspiring business owners and entrepreneurs to focus on going for growth.